Okay, we're off to the next domain, excuse me, the next section using data graphs or pictures as evidence. And data graphs or pictures as evidence. You'll often be asked to analyze data graphs or pictures to support the author's claim or argument. And this is both on the language arts exam and the social studies. Okay, think of the picture like another supporting detail. We've talked a lot about main idea and detail. And when you look at pictures, think of them in that context. A picture might want to associate someone with another person, meaning they endorse that person's idea. So if you have a picture with a famous politician, it might imply that that person agrees with the argument or some other such uh, thing. Sometimes they'll also use cartoons, and they'll involve political topics. That's more on the social studies, but sometimes it'll appear in the language arts as well. Now we're going to do a guided practice exercise utilizing and some of the techniques for data, graphs, and pictures as evidence. So while we're doing this particular lesson, I want you to refer to the slides on the guided practice, which are labeled gp4slides.pdf. Feel free to rewind as necessary or refer to the PDF. Have it open while we do the questions. As always, that PDF will be available either with the lesson on Blackboard or below the video on YouTube. And check more if you don't see it. Okay, we have an article I want you to read first. And then we'll have a series of charts that go along with this and graphs. Earnings and education. The source of this is the Department of Labor. Generally speaking, jobs that require high levels of education and skill pay higher wages than jobs requiring few skills and little education. Statistics from the Department of Labor's Bureau of Labor Statistics validate this viewpoint by revealing that the unemployment rate among people who have a professional degree is significantly lower than that of people who have a high school diploma or less than a complete high school education. In addition, earnings increase significantly as a worker's degree of education rises. Earnings by demographics. BLS data indicating that the earnings are higher and the unemployment rate is lower for people who have higher levels of education. The reverse is true for the least educated American workers. Career one-stop toolkit. Find the tool you need to research career information, training, or jobs. Related web pages on this topic. Equal pay and compensation discrimination. Equal pay provisions prohibit sex-based wage differentials between men and women employed in the same establishment who perform jobs requiring equal effort, skill, and responsibility. These provisions are enforced by the Equal Opportunity Employment Commission, EEOC. Okay, and that's on the handout as well. First, we have the first chart, which is a degree comparison, and we'll take a brief look at that before we go into the questions. But you'll see the various bars correspond to colors, which correspond to certain groups of people. The green is Hispanic or Latino persons, the orange is African American persons, and the blue is Caucasian or white persons. Okay, and it has the dollar amounts, the figures are from the U.S. Census Bureau. It has advanced degree, bachelor's degree, some college or associates, high school graduate, high school dropout. So we can approximate the salary numbers looking at this, this chart, chart A. Chart B is education by population and education by percentage. And those colors conform to different things. The blue is less than a high school education. The orange is high school. The vocational certificate is, I guess that's green-ish. The associates is brownish, green-ish is some college, gray is bachelor's, light green is a master's, and a pink is a professional degree. Okay, so that's a pie chart. That's chart B. Okay, and that's a different chart. And we have to look at this in relation to the text. So when we use a graph, we're going to ask, based on those questions, you have out those charts from that handout. Which group makes the most money on average? So by group, I mean which ethnic group, okay? Uh, not just, also by education level. Education, ethnicity, which group makes the most money on average? 
Generally speaking, jobs that require high levels of education and skill pay higher wages than jobs that require few skills and education. What evidence in the chart supports that? So BLS data indicates that the earnings are higher and the unemployment rate is lower for people who have high levels of education. The reverse is true for the least educated American workers. Is this true? And if so, which chart shows this information? Chart A or chart B? Like I said, which group makes the most money on average? What is the difference in earning for African Americans with a high school diploma versus a college degree? What group on the chart is not listed on the graph? So what's on chart A but not chart B? What are some costs of higher education not listed on the graph? Why is the age of the people important? These earnings are over what interval of time? Why do you think these earnings differ by group? Okay, so I want you to pause the video either by tapping your phone or mobile device or pressing the space bar and think, find the support in the charts and answer these questions. Okay, you could do it in your notebook if you want. We're just doing it. Look for the answers and think about it critically. I'll give you one moment to do so. Remember to pause the video. Okay, we're back. So first thing we're going to do is get rid of irrelevant information. Okay, all that stuff is interesting with the Career One Stop Toolkit, which I'd ac actually recommend looking at. It has a lot of great information. Equal pay and equal and compensation discrimination, related web pages. Those don't matter for these questions. Those are irrelevant. Okay, so you, I highlighted them in red. So don't focus on irrelevant information. You don't want to waste your time. Look at the information that matters. Okay. All right. So this will be continued next time. But before we do that, let's just look back at the graph a little bit. So when I say generally speaking, jobs that require the higher levels of education and skill pay higher wages than jobs requiring few skill and little education. What evidence in the chart supports that? We could look back at chart A, and we see that has the salary amounts, and we could look and see, okay, advanced degree, it looks like they're making much more, right? You see where the bars are? Okay, bachelor's degree more than some college or associates, etc. Okay, when I say the BLS data indicates the earnings are higher and the unemployment rate is lower for people who have high levels of education, is this true? And if so, which chart shows this information? Chart A or chart B? Now, if we look back, chart B doesn't have salaries, so it's not on there. Chart A does have salaries. Chart B is education by percentage. It shows the percentage of the population that has each degree. It doesn't show the salary. Okay. So when we say what, which group makes the most money on average, that was a little ambiguous. I should have phrased that better. But you might say persons with advanced degrees, specifically Caucasian persons with advanced degrees followed by African Americans with advanced degrees, followed by Hispanic and Latino Americans with advanced degrees, okay? What is the difference in earning for African Americans with a high school diploma versus a college degree? So we know we're looking at chart A again because of earnings. So African Americans with a college diploma, which is a bachelor's, versus a high school uh, graduate. So we go look at the chart, African Americans are orange, and we look, okay, we see orange, bachelor's is a little under 40, high school graduate, it looks like, I don't know, what is that, 20, 25? So this is a difference of maybe $20,000. It's a lot of money. What group on the chart is not listed on the graph? So what, what's in chart A but not chart B? Which specific group of educational attainment? Hmm, let's look. What's in chart what's in chart B but not chart A? Hmm. So they don't sort by professional degree versus masters. They just have advanced degree. So there's fewer categories in chart A versus chart B in terms of educational attainment. And that could confuse things. So we have to be mindful of that. What are some costs of higher education not listed on the graph? Okay? So this is, this is a question that involves thinking a little outside the box. 
What's the cost of higher education not on the graph? Well, hmm, higher education might mean spending two to four years in college. During that period of time, you're not earning wages for the most part, or you may be earning decreased wages if you're working part-time. So this is what's called, you have to do a cost-benefits analysis, and you may actually wind up, that may make an impact. Why is the age of the people important? And we don't have that listed, but that is important. So the age of people who have more advanced degrees may indicate that they've worked in the workplace longer. That's a confound. That means it's something that could mess up our data a little bit that we have to consider that isn't necessarily considered in the chart. It's one of the reasons why thinking critically is important. These earnings are over what interval of time? It's not really addressed, but that's important too. And why do you think these differ by group? Okay, the education, you can get better jobs with better education. Okay, that's one of the things. And we talked about irrelevant information, and I will see you next time.